The Los Angeles Clippers went all in by bringing in Kawhi Leonard and training for Paul George back in 2019. The expectations were sky high for this franchise, and rightfully so. Kawhi Leonard was coming off one of the greatest individual playoff runs ever, helping the Raptors win a championship, and Paul George was coming off one of his best seasons as a pro with the Thunder. Both guys were in their prime and were regarded as two of the best two-way players in the league. Excitement was at an all-time high for this Clippers fan base, as this was their opportunity to finally steal the spotlight from the Lakers and accomplish some big things of their own. Just like most people, I thought this Clippers team was on the verge of something special. If you had asked me back in 2019 how many championships would the Clippers win over a four-year span, I would have said at least one. Instead, four years later, and it's been nine. How's it going, everyone? It's Luca here back with another video. In this one, I'm gonna be talking about the Los Angeles Clippers failed experiment so far and where they go from here. If you guys can do me a solid favor, please drop a like on this video. It does help the algorithm a ton. And please subscribe to the channel for more Clippers and NBA content just like this. Your support is greatly appreciated. So in a nutshell, this has been the Kawhi and PG era for the Clippers. In 2020, the Clippers looked like they were about to meet the Lakers in an epic Western Conference Finals in the bubble. They were up 3-1 against the Nuggets in the second round, but then lost the series after they blew halftime leads in Game 5, 6, and 7. It was one of the craziest postseason collapses ever. Then in 2021, the Clippers made the Western Conference Finals, but eventually fell short to the Phoenix Suns. Kawhi Leonard suffered a devastating injury during these playoffs as he exited Game 4 of the Western Conference Semifinals with a knee injury that was later ruled a partially torn ACL. Weeks later, Kawhi Leonard underwent successful surgery to repair the injury. But then in 2022, the Clippers missed the playoffs after Kawhi Leonard missed the entire season recovering from that same injury. Then in 2023, this seemed like it was finally going to be the Clippers year. Kawhi Leonard was back on the court, Paul George was healthy, and the Clippers made some nice moves at the deadline, loading up for what they hoped was a long postseason run. And then they brought in Russell Westbrook, who was gelling nicely with this team. But then of course, bad luck struck the Clippers again. Paul George sprained his knee and never returned for the season. And then to make matters worse, after an epic game one win versus the Suns, people thought maybe the Clippers would survive without Paul George and beat the Suns. I mean, Kawhi Leonard looked like his old self after that game one win. But then after game two, Kawhi Leonard was ruled out for game three, four, and five. And it's been revealed today that Kawhi Leonard was diagnosed with a torn meniscus in his right knee, according to Shams. So for those thinking Kawhi didn't want to play, he was actually dealing with a torn meniscus. So just like that, four years later, the Clippers didn't even make an NBA Finals appearance. But what's even more alarming is that through four seasons, the duo of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George has only played 41% of the Clippers games together. Three of those four seasons have ended with one or both of them injured. But it's easy to see why the Clippers believe in the Leonard and George partnership. Paul George averaged 23.8 points this season. He shot 37.1% from three-point range. And Leonard was one of the NBA's best players after the All-Star break. He was averaging 27.1 points while shooting at 47% from deep. But Paul George missed 31 games this season, and Leonard sat for 33 of them. LA was 24-14 and 14 when Leonard and George played together, but they were only 20-24 and 24 when they didn't. And that's the theme with these Clippers. It's not that they're not good enough. It simply just comes down to health, and it comes to a point where you start to doubt if this duo will ever be healthy for a full season again. So where do the Clippers go from here? While a lot of people and fans are calling for this team to blow it up, my take is that the Clippers should give this experiment at least one more chance. And quite frankly, the Clippers may not have any other choice because you look at their current situation, Leonard will be 32 next season, and George is a week away from turning 33. Both are under contract for $45 million next season with player options for the final year. And neither has proven he can stay healthy on the floor. So it's very unlikely to see the Clippers being able to move Leonard or George and get equal value in return. Also, the Clippers will have their new building coming in 2024. So I doubt they'll blow it up. Steve Ballmer's definitely going to want a winning product for the arena's first year of operation. So barring something drastic, both will be back. But what will the supporting cast look like? 
the Clippers have seven players making between 11 and 21 million dollars. The biggest decision will actually be what happens with Russell Westbrook. There's no question Russell Westbrook played very well with the Clippers given the circumstances. And you can argue that he revitalized his career with the Clippers. But of course, it comes down to price. Westbrook may want more money than the Clippers would be willing to pay. So ultimately, for the Clippers, like every year, it's going to come down to the health of Kawhi Leonard and Paul George going into next season. The biggest thing is health, Norman Powell said. Next season is definitely going to be championship or bust for this team. Clippers owner Steve Ballmer has a 300 plus million Clippers payroll and you gotta think he's growing impatient with this team. He has deeply invested in payroll and in the front office and with the coaching staff as well. And speaking of coaching, Tyron Lue said he would be back. And I do want to give Ty Lue a lot of credit. I know people are quick to say, fire Ty Lue, get him out of here. Ty Lue brought up a really good point during his press conference last night. Take away any team's two best players and see how far that team goes. Ty Lue, season in and season out, for as long as he's been the Clippers head coach, has had to deal with so many injuries and he's had to juggle with so many different lineups. So I think overall, Ty Lu has done a great job and you gotta give him credit given the situation. So it appears one more year will be had for this Clippers franchise to make it work. The Los Angeles Clippers have so much invested in this core, in this team, in the coaching staff, in everything that they just have to simply let it go for one more season. But what do you guys think? Do you want to see the Clippers run it back for one more year? Or do you think this Clippers team should make some serious changes now? And what's your overall reaction to how this Clippers season has ended? I had big hopes for this Clippers team. I mean, going back to the start of the season, the Clippers were my pick to win the NBA championship. I gave this team the benefit of the doubt that they would stay healthy. But the Clippers, of course, dealt with key injuries to both Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. And the Clippers later ended their season by losing in five games to the Phoenix Suns in the first round. So we'll see what happens from here on out. But if the Clippers do run it back for one more season, this is going to be it. Everybody's growing impatient. The Clippers need something big to happen, and they need that to happen come next season. Let me know your overall thoughts in the comment section down below, guys. And again, drop a like on the video. It does help it a ton. And please subscribe to the channel for more Clippers and NBA content. As always, thank you so much for watching. This is Lucas signing off, and I will catch you all again in the next video.